space. There are two kinds of space when you're talking about art. There's positive space, which is where an object is. And then there's negative space. That's the area between objects, around objects. It's the empty space. Our project is going to be making a positive-negative tree. First step, draw two curved lines from the bottom of the page to about a third of the way up the page. Don't draw them too high. Next step, draw a V between those two curved lines. This is going to be the pattern for the entire tree. It's pretty simple, right? It can get a little confusing, but just remember, it's always a V shape going between two lines. The tip of the V never touches a line. This will make sense as we go forward. So there we are, our next V in the space between two lines. The tip of the V is not touching anything. It never will. Now we've got two lines that we drew beside the V. Again, this is going to be our pattern for the whole tree. There we are. Here's our next V. Now, do you know what this next step is? I bet you do. <sighs> there you go. You draw the two lines beside the V. This is making our branches. And now we've gone to the other side, drawn our V and drawn our two branches. That's just drawing the lines beside the V. Don't let these lines get too small. You don't want teeny, teeny, tiny branches, because that makes it really hard to fill the space. You see, it's the same pattern all the time. Draw a V and then you draw the lines beside the V. You see how it's still the same pattern? It's the same technique the whole time. You're just drawing the V's between the two lines and then extending the lines around them. Now you see we can start on the other side of the tree.
there's no set way you have to draw this. Some people do one entire side first and then go to the other side, and other people jump around. That's what I've been doing. By this point, you can see your tree growing those branches. And it's going to make some pretty neat patterns. Watch. cool spirals, right? Now you'll notice that when the lines hit another line as they branch out, that's when they stop. but not until then. This takes some time to do, and that's okay. You need to take your time, because this could get messy really fast. You can always pause this or rewind it. Different people's trees will look different. Everyone's will look different. Some will be very curvy. Others will be more geometric. It's the same pattern, but everybody's will be different. Just about done. Now look and make sure that you don't have any spaces that you've missed or lines that you haven't extended. Go back and clean up any overlapping lines. Once you've got your entire tree drawn, then you go back and you fill in the negative space. You know what the negative space is, right? There you go. Pretty easy, right? I knew it. 
this an example that one of my students drew a few years ago. You see she used the same technique that I did, but it looks completely different. All right, now it's time for you to draw your positive-negative tree.